All right. All right, now for the fun part where we apply it. We have our 25th day out of our 100 that makes the whole party. And we know, just for redundancy, to make sure you never forget it, that's the same thing as 25% because per means out of and cent means 100. And 25 hundredths, both of these uh, represent a way of out of 100 automatically. The top number, once again, it depends on the denominator. Now that the denominator is 100, it is the same thing as these. But if we had a denominator, let's say of 3, it wouldn't be to the hundredths. It'd be to the tenths place value, or it wouldn't be to a place value at all. It would be, we'd have to divide the denominator into the numerator to figure out what decimal point or what percent. But that's something we'll get into a little bit later. But let's go ahead and simplify. I'm hoping that most of you know our monetary system. And I don't mean uh, our monetary policy by the Federal Reserve. I mean our money, the way we calculate our dollars and cents. Because we know just like our 100th day of party, our money is done the same way. 100 cents equals a whole dollar. And we have something very special that we call, um, that has the, uh, uh, the value of 25 out of those hundreds. And that is called a quarter. And the reason it's called a quarter is for this reason right here. I know just from simple math, I'm not going to take the time to, to do them all because hopefully by now you understand that 25 and 1 are its factors and 25 from our repetition is our factor in, of 100. So this would be our greatest common factor. So 25 divided by 25 would equal 1 and 100 divided by 25 would equal 4. four. So what we're doing here is we're cutting the holes up into four. And what we have is we have one whole fourth of that. Now I want to show this in particular because over here it doesn't look like that. Because it doesn't always have to be nice and neat like this. I want you to see if you can visualize these two rows of five being placed right here. Can you visualize that? It's the value of each one of these. I could have them sparse out, and as long as they are 25, when I simplify it, I would group them automatically all together. Now, can you see one fourth, one out of four? And to make sure that one fourth is, in fact, 25% or 0.25, we, this, remember, a fraction is a, a division problem. So we read it top to bottom, one divided by four. One divided by Four. And remember, if a number doesn't have a decimal point out, you yell out and scare it. Where's your decimal point? And the number gets scared and it produces scat. <clears throat> and now we can add our two placeholders for our hundredth percent. See how that works? Our decimal point moves straight up and now we just divide. Four goes into one, no. Four goes into ten. Two times, two times four is eight. 4 goes into 25 times, and lo and behold, there we go. We have our 25 hundredths, our 25%, and our 25 out of 100.